Hi and welcome to tutorial one in the series of tutorials and programs designed to help you learn power language programming from Multichart. Uh, if you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to chartplex.com and uh, I'll let you know when I create new tutorials or programs and uh, hopefully we'll be doing quite a few in the near near future. Uh, anyway, today's uh, tutorial is going to be a very simple beginner-based tutorial as to how to create a, uh, an indicator study and uh, so let's go uh, dig straight in. Now the first thing we need to do is open the Power Language in, uh, Editor and uh, to do that you are most likely going to have to click on the Start, find the uh, multi-charts um, folder and then inside you'll find the Power Language Editor. That's of course assuming you've uh, installed multi-chart. So let's just uh, go ahead and create the indicator. So I'm going to say new. And we've got a choice of function. That's something used by indicators and signals. Uh, indicators is something that presents information on the screen and a signal is something that could actually create trading signals. So we're just going to create an indicator today and I'm going to call it tutorial. Let me just turn off my caps key. So tutorial one, I put an underscore ahead of it, that'll just help us find it more easily. So I'm going to say condition one, and uh, as I type, you'll see that the the words are appearing on the screen. It's trying to help me uh, know what the commands are, which is very useful. So I've said the high of this bar is less than the high of the previous bar. That's what this one in the square bracket means. And I'm going to say the low of this bar is greater than the low of the previous bar semicolon just to end that statement. Then what I'm say is if condition one is true and uh, this time I'm just going to double click on that. Now you don't need to say is true that's implied but you can if you like. Then we're going to say plot again we're going to just select the word there uh, and we're going to uh, plot at the uh, halfway point of the bar which is H plus L high plus low close brackets divided by two close brackets semicolon and I'm going to compile that by clicking the button here. We could also press F3 and you'll see at the bottom here that uh, it's compiled successfully. Uh, it's Incidentally, if you wanted to send this program to someone else, you'd go File, Export, you'd find the indicator that we just created and uh, you'd save that in the uh, the export format. So having created this, we're now going to go to Multicharts. I've already got a Multicharts pound dollar five minute bar open. So uh, to insert it, we're going to go insert study and uh, here it is tutorial one and uh, let's move that into the screen. Oh, you still can't see. I'm clicking OK. And uh, first of all, we're just going to um, look at how it applies um, normally. What we're going to do now is format it. So we're going to go format study and we can either double click on this line or just click the format button there. So firstly we're going to use a point and let's make it cyan and I'm going to make it a fairly heavy weight so you can see. I'm going to also set this as default. Uh, properties, we want it on the same chart as the instrument so I'm going to put that subchart 1 and then scaling, this is really important, we need it to be the same as the instrument otherwise we're going to see the dots in strange places. So having done that you'll now, uh, if we just look at some of these bars you'll see that um, indeed that bar there the high is lower than the previous high and the low is higher than the previous low uh, so the high is lower than the previous high and the low is higher than the previous low and you'll see those dots being drawn. What I'm going to do now is just let the chart run for a little bit and uh, then come back and uh, explain something else that uh, makes this uh, a little bit less simple. In other words these dots have plotted correctly historically but what we're going to see is that as time goes on and new bars develop on the chart we're going to see some what appear to be spurious dots appearing and uh, I'll explain why that happens and how we can solve that problem. Okay so I've left the chart running for a few minutes now and you'll notice that on the last bar even though the low of that bar is very clearly lower than the low of the previous bar it still has a dot drawn on it. And the reason for that is when the bar started forming, indeed the high was lower than the high of the previous bar and the low was greater than the low of the previous bar and so the program drew a dot. 
What we didn't tell the program to do was to not to draw a dot anymore if that condition was no longer true. So let's go back to uh, the power language and I'll just show you how you would get over that issue there. So what we're going to need is an else statement. So we're going to say if condition one then plot this else in other words condition one is not true then and we've got a command called no plot and uh, we're just going to put the number in there and the plot number in this case is just one and we're going to say uh, press the semicolon then press F3 or press compile to compile okay okay we can see we've got a little error there and that's because we've got a then appearing from nowhere so I'm just going to delete that press F3 to compile and uh, we should see that compiled successfully if we go back to multicharts now we can uh, again set that running and uh, if we leave that running for a while, we should see that even though a bar does start and uh, a dot is drawn initially, that dot will disappear uh, if the condition is no longer true. Anyway, I uh, hope you found that uh, tutorial useful. Again, if you're not part of the email list, then please go to chartplex.com. That's C-H-A-R-T-P-L-E-X.com. And uh, I'll let you know when I create new tutorials or release programs. Thank you very much.